an electrician has the following lengths of cable. 23 inches, 49 inches, and 8 feet. How much cable does he have in feet? So these are the lengths. Each of these are the lengths of a cable in inches, inches, and feet. And we want to know the total length if you add all of these up. And we need the total length in feet. And so the best way to do that is to convert each of these lengths into feet and then add them all up. So let's start with this one right over here, 23 inches. 23 inches. So it's always important to give, have your intuition give a little bit of a check on what the answer should look like. There are many inches per foot. So when you convert this into feet, you should have a smaller number. There are 12 inches per foot. So this should be a small number. This is not even 2 feet. 24 inches would be 2 feet. So this should be less than 2 feet. But let's do it mathematically. So to do it mathematically, we want this inches to cancel out with inches. And the way you do that is you put that in the denominator. So you put that in the denominator, inches. So it cancels out with the inches. And so we want feet per inches, or foot per inches. I guess I'll just write FT. It could be fit feet or foot, singular or plural, it doesn't matter. So how many feet are there per inches? Or another way to think about it, how many inches are there per foot? One foot is equal to 12 inches. Or you could say one foot for every 12 inches. Or you could read this as 1 12th of a foot per inch. Either way, if we multiply by this, if we multiply this, the inches cancel out. That's why we know, at least mathematically, if we just did it mechanically, why we shouldn't multiply by 12. But also, it should make complete sense. We should be dividing by 12, because when you express this distance in feet, it should be a smaller number. So we should divide by 12. So what does this give us? This is equal to 23 times 1 is 23 over 12, 23 over 12. The inches, this inches cancels out with that inches, and we're just left with feet. So that is 23 over 12 feet. And this is an improper fraction, but I'll leave it as an improper fraction for now, because they're actually easier to manipulate than mixed numbers. So that's that first cable. Let's do the second one right here, 49 inches. So the second cable is 49, 49 inches, and we do the same thing. We want to convert it to feet. We have inches in the denominator. We should end up dividing by something because we want a smaller number. 49 inches will be a smaller number of feet by a factor of 12. So what we care about is feet per inches. And we know that there's 1 foot for every 12 inches, or 1 12th of a foot per inch. It can be read either way. When you multiply, the inches will cancel out. And we will be left with 49 times 1, which is 49, over 12 over 12 feet. That is the second cable. And then we have this last cable right here, this 8 foot cable. So this very last one, the very last one is 8 is 8 feet. And if we want, we can convert that into an improper fraction. And at this point, there's two ways we could do it. Everything is in feet. Here it's improper fractions. We could, if we want, convert these into mixed numbers and then add them up. Or we convert this into an improper fraction that has the same denominator and then add them up. And the easiest way, I think, is to just have this with the denominator 12. So 8 feet is the same thing as what over 12? Well, what's 8 times 12? It's 96, right? 96 divided by 12 is 8. 8 is the same thing as 96 twelfths. These are equivalent. Let me make sure. This 8 and 96 over 12 is the exact same thing. I picked 12 because these have 12 in the denominator. And then I said 12 times 8 is 96. So 8 feet is the same thing as 96 over 12 feet. And now I can add everything up. The total length of cable he has is, I'll do it over here, it's 96 over 12 plus 23 over 12, 23 over 12, plus 49 over 12, and everything is in feet. So this answer will give us in feet. We have all of the same denominators. Our denominator is 12. The denominator is 12. And so we have to add up 96 plus, so our numerator is going to be 96 plus 23 plus 49. And let's add that up over here. So 96, 23. 49, we have to add it up. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. So that's 168. So this expression right here 
is equal to 168 over 12, which is a valid answer. And of course, all of these are in feet, so it's 168 over 12 feet. But let's write this now as a mixed number so that we have a better idea of really how many feet it is. And to do that, we just divide 168 by 12. So 12 goes into 168. It doesn't go into 1. It goes into 16 exactly one time. 1 times 12 is 12. We subtract. 16 minus 12 is 4. Bring down the 8. Bring down the 8. 12 goes into 48 four times. 4 times 12 is 48. And we have no remainder. So 168 over 12 is exactly 14. So this is exactly equal to 14 feet. So our electrician, our electrician has exactly 14 feet of cable.